Welcome back to the Battle of the Blades. What a night. You know, over the last seven weeks, we've added a lot of great moments to the memory vault that is Maple Leaf Gardens. And for those of us here in the battle, that skate down memory lane reminded us how wonderful this old temple of hockey really is. Maple Leaf Gardens was built on a shoestring budget at the height of the Depression for just over a million dollars. Con Smythe, who built it, always said we made it just nice enough that the guys wouldn't be ashamed to bring their women in their finery. So that was the secret of his success. For 78 years, the crowds kept coming. From figure skating and Elvis to the Beatles and boxing, it all happened here. But hockey is what defined her. David Adams Richards, an author, said, when are we most Canadian? When we drop the puck. And the place we all got excited about when you drop the puck was Maple Leaf Gardens. This is the place that uh, begat this amazing love affair we have with hockey. Hello, Canada. And hockey fans in the United States and Newfoundland. It's hockey night in Canada. 26-year-old kid from Red Deer, Alberta. I'm scared to death. And I walk into this room, and this is it. This is the fabled home of Hockey Night in Canada. And it was just a disaster. My God, is this, this is it? This is the NHL? This is Hockey Night in Canada? He scores! I remember I sat at the Hockey Night in Canada desk, and I waited for Don Cherry to arrive. Hey, don't be nervous, kid. There's only eight and a half million people watching. I got on the air that night, and it was awful. I don't know how the hell I'm here, to tell you the truth. I remember sitting right in about this exact spot. The day before training camp, a reporter with the Toronto Sun had said, Lanny, could I do an interview? And I was enjoying the moment so much, I actually asked him as a rookie, can we just wait 10 minutes? Because as a young man who dreamed of playing for the Toronto Maple Leafs and coming here from Alberta and sitting in a darkened Maple Leaf Gardens, I just absolutely wanted to savor the moment. That memory will last a lifetime. Whenever I walk through these doors, I still get that chill inside my body. Anderson scores! Anderson scores! And the Leafs win it! Like there's a game going on. You can hear the, the, the fans cheering and roaring. There's a buzz still going on in this building. Bob Crover! Wow, this brings back a lot of memories. Now, this is where I scored the last goal, right down here. Over. Gets hit with the shot, scores! With 11 minutes left in the game when I scored it, so uh, I didn't think it was going to be the last goal in this building. It was meant to be, I guess. Hi, Kobe! My favorite moment in uh, Maple Leaf Gardens was being part of the closing night here. My son with me. It's definitely the best memory. Stars and Ice is over. I was killing time, so I started taking questions. Are you married? Am I married? Well, I wasn't, but I knew that my girlfriend was in the building somewhere. Where are you, hon? And she was up there. And when she stood up, I thought to myself, it doesn't get any better than that. I love you with all my heart. Will you marry me? That's a good memory, huh? Sandra and Val Bezzer. The Maple Leaf Gardens is a lifetime of memories for me. When I was 12 years old, I had the opportunity to skate here with my brother. We competed in the Canadian Championships in the Senior Pairs event for the first time. And uh, it was just so exciting to walk down these halls and skate in this building. For any great Canadian, this is like one of our hockey churches. My take on the gardens has always been it's like another room in the house, a place you went down the hall and stepped into. And that's what made it special. It just is so warm. The audience is so close. It's home. You cannot demolish a great memory.